Dear friends around the world, I send you warm greetings from Riga. Holocaust remembrance in Latvia developed gradually. World War II was a tremendous horror for Latvians. It meant hundreds of thousands of dead, losing our country and living under the yoke of cruel occupation regimes. Latvians attributed this war mainly to their own suffering. This was one of the reasons why the commemoration of the Holocaust was not very widespread in Latvia, in Riga, in the 90s and in early 2000s. However, the situation has changed rapidly in recent years. There is a growing understanding in Latvia that the tragedy of the Latvian Jews was a tragedy of anti-Latvian nation. Almost 100,000 Jews lived in Latvia before the war. They were Latvian citizens, a significant part of our country. They were our people who perished in the Holocaust. The Jews killed in Riga and throughout Europe were no strangers or aliens. They were essential part of European civilization, the whole culture that was taken away from us within a few years. Honoring the victims murdered by Nazi occupation regime and its local collaborators, every year more and more people gather by our most sacred monument, the Freedom Monument of Latvia, to create corridors of light with candles. This change of attitude did not happen in one day, and it did not happen by itself. Rig has many historians, Researchers of social memory and public activists have contributed to this. To name a few, this work has been done by our outstanding intellectual and Holocaust survivor, Marjeris Westermans, by the director of the Museum Jews in Latvia, Ilya Lenskis, as well as the director of Janis Lipke Memorial Museum, Lolita Thompson, and many other great people of Riga. Many new studies on the Holocaust are done in Latvian universities. In recent years, Latvia has made several feature films focusing on this tragedy, which are shown to children in our schools. Holocaust researchers still find and honor families who have been involved in rescuing Jews. We have an obligation not to lose sight of the horrors of the past. In doing so, we will gain more clarity to also assess today events. Today the army of Russia is killing, torturing and raping innocent Ukrainian civilians. This is happening exactly where the Nazi Germans once waged an unspeakable horrors of the Holocaust. The whole international community, every country, every nation must stand up and oppose these criminal acts. Only in this way we will be able to prove that we have learned from the horrors of the past. Thank you for your attention.